This video was sponsored by PCBWay. This turbine was designed to spin at 40,000 RPM while generating about 110 watts of power, and it is spun by a supersonic jet of air with a mass flow rate of about 3 grams per second. In this video, I am going to show you how I designed and built it. The project started when I was thinking of making an equation that I could use to make an impulse turbine. I have built turbines like this in the past, but they weren't based on any math or physics. What I really needed here was an equation that I could use to give me a good power estimation for the turbine, and after a night where I had higher than normal creativity levels, I got to this equation. I can't really explain what's what here, because uh, if this equation is valid, it could be considered suitable for designing missile turbo pumps, and explaining it could get me into legal trouble. However, filling the equation with my design criteria, we can get the following equation, where the mass flow rate is the only unknown. As you can see, a 1 kg per second mass flow rate could generate as much as almost 53 kW or 70 horsepower. I decided to use compressed air as a working fluid because it's the cheapest option to generating supersonic flow. I already have an 8 bar compressor which is more than powerful enough to do the job, so the only thing I had to do was to design the nozzle. Here I had difficulty measuring the mass flow rate of my compressor, so I eyeballed the dimensions and I made a 2mm diameter throat and a, and a 3mm exit. After that I designed a simple jet diverter to measure the mass flow rate of the nozzle knowing that the jet velocity was about 350 meters per second. After all of this it was time to create the CAD design and after that was done the technical drawings. I also made a technical sheet for fun where I mentioned the losses, material, assembly and safety. To the recommendation of one of my teachers, I calculated the safety, the safety factor to be 1.75, meaning that the turbine could reach 70,000 RPM before braking due to centrifugal force. This was very important to know, as the turbine could store so much potential energy at those speeds that it could seriously injure me if it failed. I also named the turbine I001, I standing for impulse, the type of turbine. The assembly was quite st straightforward, as this turbine was designed to be easy to assemble. The only elements I need for assembly are two 608 double Z bearings, 6 M M3 times 18 screws, 6 M3 nuts, and 12 M3 washers. I first tested a 3D printed version of this turbine, but I don't have any assembly footage of that. This was the moment I discovered a quite interesting but annoying inefficiency I named centrifugal drag. At the high speeds that this turbine is intended to work at, the blades act like a centrifugal pump where they fling the air outwards and pull air in from the top and bottom. To fix this, I had to design a simple case that would prevent the air from getting flung outwards in the first place. By this point, the low tolerances and high strength of a machine turbine really started to look interesting. Thankfully, I had the privilege to get sponsored by PCBWay, a manufacturing company. PCBWay offers a large variety of services such as sheet metal manufacturing, resin 3D printing, CNC machining, metal 3D printing, and of course PCB manufacturing. Not only that, but their prices are insanely low when compared to any other manufacturing companies. Also, unlike other manufacturing companies, you don't need to have a company to order from PCBWay, nor technical drawings for the parts you're trying to make. I have used PCBWay services in the past, and I can tell you that they're really good at what they're doing. 
For your next project, head over to PCBWay using the link in the description. Thank you again to PCBWay and now let's get back to our machine turbine. Okay, that was awesome. That case really makes a difference. I didn't take an RPM reading, but it was probably spinning at 40,000 RPM. Unfortunately, winter really started to show its face recently as it started snowing in the region, so I won't be able to test the turbine for a second time for a while. That isn't a huge problem though, as this will give me time to perfect the casing. As for the next project on this channel, I will be probably making a solid rocket motor made of steel, so if you want to see that, feel free to subscribe. As you might notice, these projects are really expensive, so I made an online shop where you can buy mugs and t-shirts with aerospace related designs. I would be grateful if you would buy something from there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the like button. Thank you again to PCBWay for sponsoring this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!